Today we're looking at ratios and proportional relationships. Our standard for today is analyze proportional relationships and use them to solve real world and mathematical problems. Our learning goals for this standard are A. I can decide whether two quantities are in a proportional relationship. B. I can identify the unit area in tables, graphs, equations, diagrams, and verbal descriptions of proportional relationships. C. I can use equations to represent proportional relationships. And D. I can explain the proportional relationship of the point x, y on the graph. <clears throat> the problem is, this is the call plan for Nina Selfo. $15 a month plus free texts plus 20 cents per minute of call time. Mina made 30 minutes of calls this month and 110 texts. How much does she have to pay the phone company? Explain how you figure this out. What is given in our problem is the service charge is $15, there is one minute of call time equals 20 cents, text messages are free, and there are 30 minutes of calls. We will use a t-chart to find out how much the 30 minutes of calls costs. So at one minute, it equals 20 cents. Five minutes, it equals a dollar. 10 minutes equals two dollars. 15 minutes equals three dollars. 20 minutes equals four dollars. 25 minutes equals five dollars and 30 minutes equals six dollars. So Thorne, will you come and explain how we're going to find our total cost? Yes. So I'm looking at the t-chart. I see the amount of minutes that we use and that was a given here. So at 30 minutes the cost would be six dollars because per minute it's 20 cents. So I'm going to put the cost here which is six dollars. Now I also know that the service charge is fifteen dollars so I'm going to put that here as well. Okay, looking at our given, do we need to know how much our text messages cost? No, we do not. We just need to understand what the question asks. How much does she have to pay for the phone company? And in looking at it, text messages are free. So we do not need to know that given. So $6 plus $15 gives us a total cost of $21. Okay. So Mina is responsible for paying $21 for her phone bill for that month. 